Hey guys, it's Matt, the mortgage guy. This is a real life recording of a solicitation call. The reason I record these things is because one, I want to know what these call centers, what these sales folks are telling consumers, what kind of verbiage they're using, how they're trying to sell it and whatnot. So I'm answering these calls. Um, I'm listening to these folks. And after dozens of them, I decided to myself, I'm going to start recording them just so I can hear what's going on. Right. So enjoy this. Hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully it gives you a little insight into some of the stuff that's going on because I was clear as day. I did not have any true need for a refinance, but still they're just out there to sell. So they continue to try to sell me. Enjoy. Um, I, I think my rate right now is like 3%. You said rates are down to 2%? They're around 2 Depends on a couple of things. So you're paying at the moment 3, right? Yeah, I think it's either 3 or 3.1. Um, but if they're 2, that's good. That's lower. Yeah, it depends on uh, a lot of things, you know. Okay. So what kind of a loan is it? FHAV or conventional? I think I can try to find my statement. I think I think I got a conventional loan and I and I did a um yeah, I refinanced and I, and I think it was conventional. Okay. And how long ago you refinanced? Maybe 2 years. Um 2000 two years. yeah. I got it. And uh, is it fixed or adjustable? My, my, my loan is fixed. I hope it's fixed. Okay. Okay. And what's the term? 15 or 30 years? It was, it was a 30. I know I did a 30 year loan. So if I go to 2%, how much, how much do I save if I go to 2%? Well, I will see, I'm making a plan for you and I will let you know what the rates or what, what things I can offer on a couple of things as well. Uh, I have a senior supervisor with me and he's going to assist you further. Would that be okay? Like to ensure a lot of things exactly he's both doing the calculation. Okay. He's sitting beside me. Okay. Yeah. I don't have a lot of time, but I don't have a lot of time, but I want to see what I, if I can get 2%, then I'd be interested in that. Hello, Matt. Yeah. How's it going? So I just want to ask you one simple question, sorry, if you don't mind. Can I ask you? Sure. So do you have any kind of debt on you, like credit card? Do I have... Loan, do I, loan, pending loan? I don't really have much other debt. No, just the just the home. Of your primary residence, or is this a rental property? What is the situation? I couldn't, like... Yeah, I was I, I was telling him on the primary I've got like three percent and he said that you could do two percent. So that that was something that um I owe more on that one than the other one. So I thought that was a good uh a, a good one to look at. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, so let's see what we can do for you. And I just wanna ask you, like if you get a good chance, a good opportunity to tap into your home deck, what do you want pops up in your mind? Like home improvements, paying your debts off, going to vacation, a major part investment, saving it for your rent it is, what pops up in your mind? I mean maybe investments, but I also like think that if I have a lower payment and I could save some money every month, that would be good too. That's all good too. And definitely what will be the month that will be enough to do your investment, like Thirty thousand ninety, fifty, sixty. Any idea? Um, you know, I don't want to really take on too much risk, but. All right, all right. So I just want to ask you, like, what type of loan do you have? Is it a conventional FHA or a VA? It's a. I'm pretty. It's conventional. I'm. I'm almost positive for thirty year conventional. It's unconventional. Okay. How do you rate your credit score? Is it like good, excellent, above excellence? Um, it's yeah, like seven. 75 or something. 775. All right, I got you. Well, seems to be a responsible citizen. Just to let you know, Matt, that this call has been decoded for quality and training purposes. You will be contacted to transfer to the loans register despite your number is being on any federal, any state, DMT list, and your consent is not required as a condition to build the service. All right? Okay? 
Okay, sounds good. Yeah, record a call. I'm, okay. All right, all right. So just stay on the line. Don't hang up the call, and I will be right back. All right? Thank you. Here we go. Enjoy the music. I'm glad he said record a call first because I was going to tell him that I'm going to record the call. But either way, let's see where these calculations come out, right? Because I'm making up numbers completely. The address they had for me is, I don't know, I've never been associated with that address, not even like as a rental. So it's just a random address that maybe they just do that. Maybe they just create an address, but whatever the case, um, I'm telling them I got a 3%. I'm telling them I don't want to take on risk and take cash out. I've got no other debt to pay off. So I know there's no benefit in a refinance, right? When, when rates without paying points are closer to four, um, whoever he told me about a 2% is out of their mind, um, where it would be like, I don't know, 30,000 in points to get down to a 2%. It would never make sense. It would never be a break even that uh, any, mortgage broker who knows what they're talking about, whatever recommend, but we're on hold right now. We're going to see, we're going to see what he says. I'm sure he's got some great options for me. You know why? Cause he told me I'm a responsible citizen. What else did he tell me? Um, gave me a lot of compliments, you know, I've been paying my payments on time. I'm a responsible citizen. That's why he's doing his calculations right now. That's why he's going to offer me such a great deal. Being at 3%, not having debt. I want to pay off not really want to take on extra risk. I'm curious what he's going to have for me. Hello, Matt. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you so much for holding up the line. I got Nathaniel one special guest on the line with me. So over to you. Can you please take over the call? I'm sorry. Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is... Am I speaking with Matt? Yeah. How's it going? I'm doing well. How are you doing today? Pretty good. You guys are all with the same outfit or something? I, I feel like I talked to somebody and then it was their supervisor and now you're their supervisor. I uh, know that, that, that gentleman works for a marketing company. I work for my company and um, we're, we specialize in, in uh, cash out refinances. So as I'm sure you know, property values have increased pretty significantly over the last couple of years and it's causing a lot of homeowners to to access their equity and use it to, to create cash flow and create a little bit of wealth for themselves. Now, I'm assuming like most homeowners that I speak with that you're looking to take advantage of that equity position, maybe take some cash out to pay off some higher interest rate debts or do home improvements or uh, he said you want, we're looking for about $50,000. Is that pretty accurate? Yeah. I mean, I was telling him I didn't necessarily want to take on extra debt. Like the first person that was on the line was telling me about 2% rates. Um, I didn't know they were that low, but um, if, uh, if I can do something at 2%, well, they're, well, they're not, <laughs> <laughs> and what, what's your interest rate at right now? I think I'm like at a 3.1. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Um, that's a pretty good rate for a conventional loan. Um, and what, what would you use the $50,000 for? Um, if I, if I did take cash out, you know, I think maybe buy an investment property or something. Yeah, yeah, and, and and now is really the best time. The, the property values are are really high because the rates are particularly low. But they're scheduling three rate hikes this year alone. So after after the, uh, the rates go up, obviously the uh, to compensate for that, the property values will come down. And um, so if you, if you're planning on doing this in the next couple of years, now is really time before the rates go up. Um, now is it just you on this loan, Matt, or is there a co borrower with you on the loan there? Just me on that one. And how long have you lived there for? Five, five years this May. Yeah. And then what's the, your monthly mortgage payment? Uh, I think it's 22, 2230 something, 2236, I think is, is my guess. Great. And then um, what, what would you use the 50,000 for? Buy an investment property or, or a, uh, you know, invest somewhere where I could do better than the 3% mortgage. Okay, perfect. And then I meant just to verify credit and payment history. What is your date of birth? Date of birth is. And your social. Giving you my social bro. Come on, man. 20 minutes, dude. And I couldn't get him to give me. 
I wanted to uh, like to talk about what it might actually look like. Somebody who's, I don't know. I don't even know what to say about that. Disappointed. Hey guys, thanks for listening. As you can see, there are salespeople out there just hungry to sell, regardless if there's need or not. So be careful. If you hear something or somebody's trying to talk you into something, talk to a professional you like and trust. If me or the team can help you out, we'd be more than happy to. Go to greatmortgagebroker.com, fill out a form, let us know where you're at and how we can help, and we'll be in touch soon. Bye-bye.